Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today I have uh, probably the most useless thing I've ever made. Uh, so I recently got a comment saying that I should make a movable update suppressor, and that's exactly what this is. So we can take a look at it here. As you can see, the whole line suppresses. Uh, my stock size is currently set to, I think it's 256 or something like that. Uh, this probably is still oversized for even uh, 528 I think it is. But uh, nevertheless it's still useful to have. Uh, so this all fits in within one render distance barely. You could probably cut some off at the end and I would actually recommend doing that. But yeah, so this is the basic uh, premise of the update suppressor. So we could also see it uh, slicing. So, I need to up press this, and there you have it, so it's sliced. Uh, obviously, this has uh, different lanes that you can activate, so each lane consists of two rail lines, uh, and you would individually bud these. Uh, I included obviously more just because in case you're playing on a high stack size, it might be annoying to uh, replicate. Uh, you don't need to build all, all of it, obviously. But you can basically build all that you want with this. And then... I guess we could try this again. Anyway, it just updated. Okay. So yeah, you'll see that these ones won't update. And that's because the last update's first. So this rail line carries the event to the very end of its line. Which is this rail right here. So not even this one, this one. Uh, and it activates this line first, all the way to the very end, and then it activates this line. So, uh, also it doesn't even go back uh, east here. So you would need to update each one of these individually. Also, yeah, with the with the what do you call it, uh, 256 stack size, you also need to double update uh, these. But yeah, I guess now we can see it move forward. Uh, also, when moving forward, it has it auto buds, so you gotta be careful that uh, you don't move it twice forward. So yeah, the update suppressor takes some time because this is kind of uh, a weird stage with moving the buds, because if you don't move them forward with the proper update order, they're going to assemble in like a weird way, where basically. What I would need is I need the sandstone block to be on this side of the piston so that I can move this bud forward first in update order and then move this one forward right after. But obviously that's not possible here at the push limit. Also this is just much easier. Uh, so yeah, you can see that it moved forward. We can disable most of these. And then we can rebut it. So here. to the end. So yeah, you always want to start with budding this rail line. Uh, I guess I could show what happens if you don't. This will bud first, and then when you bud this, this is going to give out a, uh, what do you call it, a non-player interaction block update, which when that runs into a stack overflow, that can either A, kill your server, or B, if you have the carpet crash fix, or I think Pent actually made a uh, custom crash fix for this server. You can see, yeah. You just cause the server crash and update entities cause update suppression. So this is basically uh, a way that all of this gets broken basically. Uh, but the easiest way to fix this is just update them in the right order. It's not that hard. So yeah, obviously you can use this to create like a, a, a large line of portals without having to like infinitely expand this. Uh, and yeah, it's really simple to use. I would have made an auto resetting one, but the issue with that is that it would be really hard to move forward at the right timing. Uh, oh yeah, also this is something that I forgot in the lightmatic. Add an observer here. This needs to be pulled in uh, every single time. It's not needed, but I mean you could always just like place a piston here every time you want to move it forward. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, so. You gotta make sure that the whole thing's unbutted um, when it's moving forward. 
Actually, no, you don't need to. It, it really depends on your stack size, so I guess I can explain this. Uh, the best way to explain this is going to the front. So let's go to the very front of these suppressors. Uh, and the first thing that you'll see here is that we have a delay in between both sides. So, if your stack size requires more than half of this suppressor, you can move it well butted. If it doesn't, you need to make sure uh, at least half of it is unbutted. Or if it, it's honestly probably just better to update everything. The reason for this is because we have a delay here, we're pulling, uh, yeah, we're pulling this line forward first, and then we're pulling this line forward. And this is uh, repetitive for every single one. So these all move forward at the same time, but we move uh, the left lane, or I guess if you're looking at it from this view, the right lane first, and then we move the left lane after. So because the rails get updated while they're moving, it would need to cost half of your stack size. Other than that though, uh, assuming that you would take up more than half of this, you'd be more than fine. So we can, uh, yeah, come back to the very front here. There's pretty much no uses for this. Uh, one thing that you might want to do, I guess, could be banners, or like getting a, some sort of block in a particular order. Um, so you could go like this. Actually, no, no you can't. Okay, you want to go like this. Oh no, wait, yeah, you can't do this because the banner will get updated. So you can't really move it for, like, you can't have just an infinite line of, like, floating banners like this, assuming that the blocks will be broken behind it. You still can't get that with this machine, unfortunately. But other than that, that's pretty much the basic premise of the whole movable update suppressor. Um, obviously, the thing is not lightning proof. You can see there's uh, exposed pistons here. Uh, it's also not snow proof, so that's something to be aware of. Obviously, uh, lightning and stuff can be a very big issue. So you want to make sure that you either would be using this in a desert. Well, honestly, you shouldn't be using it. But in case you would, you want to be doing it in some sort of a desert savanna or just make sure that it's not... Uh, raining or uh, thundering because if I summon a lightning bolt actually right let's yeah like this oh wait are these not I thought these could summon fire oh whatever well there's always a risk of like, uh, I don't know, snow landing somewhere or something happening and updating these rails, in which case that would cause a stack overflow and cause your server to crash. Uh, but other than that, player interactions are totally safe. Um, obviously, as I said, you can adjust this to the size that you want. Uh, basically, all you need to do is find the proper segment of where everything overlaps perfectly and then either take out that segment or add more if you need them. Uh, but this is right at render distance, so you have about one extra chunk, I think. Yeah, you can go into like this chunk and that's it before the machine gets unloaded. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it with the suppressor. Uh, most of it is instant, obviously. We just have to have this part separately because of the way that the butts work. Uh, it's really not that resource efficient because obviously there's a lot of different lines. There's a few things that you can uh, add, which is basically you can move the piston here. The only reason that it's one block further is because I was trying a different concept before and I just decided to stick with this line, uh, which was basically the observer one, which is a, I think it's a six game tech. Uh, yeah, so something like this, this this would ideally be a 6 game tick, sort of a uh, update suppressor. So movable 6 game tick, oh wait, that's one too far. Or yeah, this didn't pull a block either, I'm done. Well, yeah, basically that concept wouldn't work for me because I had problems with the observers getting updated in the wrong order and stuff like that. And there was just way too many issues with that, plus budding it would be a, a big pain. 
Also, if a stack overflow does get caused and your server crashes, it's not easy to bug. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for the suppressor. Uh, it's not worth it to build. Just build a normal one. But uh, nevertheless, it was a very cool idea. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, the Lightmatic for it will be down in the description if you want to try it out. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, bye.